What did God do before creating? God did the same exact thing that he is now. The only difference is God has revealed and entered into our space-time continuum. But God lives in this mode, this sort of supra-eternality, which transcends the heavenly dimension because we know heaven is a place of eternity, but God exists outside of heaven. So if God exists outside of heaven, then he also transcends and exists outside of the eternity that we will come to know when we are born again by believing in Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, and repenting of our sins. Heaven is our home promised for those who don't believe in God and go their own way and don't deny themselves. Uh, the lake of fire is the everlasting abode that they will be at when they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. But God exists in this sort of supra-eternality. Now, God was doing the same thing back then as he is now within this supra-eternality mode. And this supra-eternality is existence itself. Because we know God is existence himself. Nothing exists without God first existing. And so in this state, this state is an unbounded, absolute, infinite, all-knowing now. This place is where everything that God is, is within an instant. This place is where, and, and we're using place uh, very mildly because this isn't even a place. It's a mode of existence. God's super eternality is not a place where we can say, yeah, he's over there. Or, yeah, he's here. No, this is literally the mode of existence God is in, in, in a super eternality state. So what did God do before creating? Well, all knowledge was already there. He, he saw everything as it was. He always was, but he already knew how he would create and how things would unfold. Because remember, he created time. He's a timeless being. So these things began to exist within the space-time continuum. They have not always been. Only God has always been. Everything else has a beginning and is created. However, God, before creating, already saw creation, knew the events unraveled, and everything that he was going to do and create had already been for him from the viewpoint of his knowledge and mind. Because God can visualize and think and see anything and everything before it happens. Ecclesiastes 3.15 says, That which is has already been, and what is to be has already been. For God, what is to be for us has already been for God. So God lived in this pure, immutable, truthful, ultimate, metaphysical reality of a state which we know to be existence. He was he was and is and will forever be perfectly, sati perfectly satisfied within himself. He only is in need of himself. He exists by the necessity of his own nature. So before God created, it's not that he created and then all of a sudden he's trying to figure things out as it goes along and he's trying to force everything to make it happen. No, God saw all different types of universes he could have created and within an instant he sees this and within an instant he chose the one uh, that he has created because we all know we could have been born in a different family or at a different time period or in a different location and that would have been a different world because it would have been a different series of events. We would have connected with different people. But God, within an instant before creating, already knew what he would create. And it's not until God thinks something that possibilities come to be. God is the creator of possibility by uh, thinking of creating a world. And then he thinks of all the different possible worlds he could create. And then when he creates the actual world, there's possibilities of different events unraveling. But God knows which ones to allow and permit, and then the other times where he might need to intervene at certain points. But he knew all this, and he, he just existed within a mode of just himself when there was nothing else. And again, what was back then continues to remain as is in this supra-eternal state, which is very difficult for us to wrap our minds around because we're not timeless, we're in time. But God exists outside time and in time at the same time. 
And this is just a marvelous wonder. May we just give glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And may we just ask that God would grow us in deep revelations of him because we will never fully understand God. But nonetheless, that does not negate the reality that we can truly come to know him by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of our sins.